that bald eagle on there behind there? See that bald eagle sitting on the beach back there? Yeah. How how successful are they in catching clams? Does it take that long to get one? Oh no, she's eaten probably ten since you've looked at her. <laughs> oh really? Oh yeah. They're incredibly successful. It's usually one shot, one kill. <laughs> Just introduce hey, um, yourself. That's the thing that bears upon the most. Oh, that's a good sniff. You can smell if you're nervous. That's a great reflection. Get that reflection. As much as possible. Okay, it's coming towards us. So we are in uh, Lake Clark National Park, Chinitna Bay, and we see. Uh, Coastal brown bears, a mother and uh, relatively large two cubs. They are digging for clams. Oh, there's the other cub that can, that's come into view. So the salmon is not here yet, huh? Oh, I see. So, so they're loading up on clams until the salmon comes. Yeah, it's all about sedge and clams this time of year. And then um, as the berries start to come out, that's a really rich source of calories for them. They don't expend much energy getting berries either. Mm -hmm. So they can get pretty fat on berries. <laughs> <laughs> so this area <laughs> So are there are mud flats all along the bay. Oh yeah. Like and this isn't a particularly low tide. You know, we're in pretty like medium tide cycles right now. When they when there's a really low tide, like you can walk back to those houses over there. I mean you can just the whole, the whole bloody bay empties out. And there's just clams everywhere. That, that splits it in the middle. Uh huh. You can't cross. Otherwise, you could walk right across because the, there's a pretty good river that comes out of there. Uh huh. And, it's, and, it, and it channels up too deep, so you can't actually cross it. But it's still only waist deep. He could get across it, and you could walk right across the bay. And is that what makes this area, particular area of Chinitna Bay attractive to the bears? Because you have berries, clams, salmon, depending on the time of year, so there's always food. There's to be all had. food sources, and, there's, and it's close to pretty good protection, too. Protection in what sense? Uh, they can run up on the cliffs, they can run up on the hills, they can get away from each other. I see. And, and we'll, Let's see. There's other areas that are about as good with plenty of food, too. I think I've come to think that bears are actually social creatures. Uh -huh. There is no reason that you know 60 of them need to live right here. They just do. Is that about how many are in this area of Chinitna Bay? We'll see them. Yeah, there's more than that in this in Chinitna right here. But yeah, so. so this uh, is this. Are these cubs in their second season? You think? Uh, yeah, they're like, they're like two and a half years old. I see. So this could be the last 
we'll come hibernation next time. Uh, th that's I it. I feel like she'll probably keep him through this hibernation, and she'll kick him out next summer. Uh huh. And they'll be twice that. And if she doesn't, the males won't allow her to keep him for much longer, right? Uh, well, the be the cubs will be. She's a pretty strong, fast mom, and the cubs are will be pretty strong and fast at that point, and the males won't really have much to say about it. You could only get two years with them, but you know, from the looks of it and everything, the way they're acting, you'd you think they're going to last another one more hibernation cycle with you, with her. That's a lot to do with how stressful it is for her to keep them, stressful on her body. Um, if she only has one cub, she'd like to keep it longer than she has three. If she has three of those cubs will go off as sub-adults and a lot of pal around together and sometimes even hibernate together so they have a better chance of making it than a lone cub does. So potentially she's keeping the single cubs longer so it's giving a better chance. But uh, it's pretty taxing on her body to be catching all the fish. But it's pretty big. Uh, so guys, it's a lot of milk to make too. Yeah. So, yeah. so you guys don't stress while I'm too much, okay? <laughs> Right, you'll be out of the door house <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mom. Chinitna Bay, Lake Clark National Park, Alaska, with um, coastal brown bears. Mother and her two cubs. Digging for clams. So there's bears here. There's bears there. In um, Ketchumak Bay, in Lake Clark National Park. Alaska, and we're just walking back from the mud flats with Tim, our pilot and guide, and uh, some other friends, where we'll go back into the uh, forested or grassland, where hopefully we'll see some more bears. But uh, yeah, we just saw bears uh, digging for clams, and maybe we'll see other bears digging for berries, or picking berries, or maybe trying to catch some salmon. Beautiful scenery here in uh, Lake Clark National Park. In Alaska. It's like straight out of uh, Jurassic Park. bear there and a bear there picking at clams in the mud flats of Lake Clark National Park in Chinitna Bay and this is where our plane is at and we'll be flying back soon